Maybe slightly later and shorter or something? I think sooner, probably. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> those are what, 64th notes? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Closer. Oh. Ooh. A bird. Yeah. Awesome. I, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I love it's still it. not quite right for me, that last one. Okay, 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 okay. I feel like that last one has to be, like, just right. More than the other ones do. Okay, let me listen to it one more time. Okay, shit Ben's good at. Uh, m m writing melodies, good at fucking guitar, <laughs> good at singing. <laughs> I don't know if this is a question. Probably good at math. I don't know, actually maybe not. Are you good at math? Nice to my cats. How does everything sound good that you do on this? Yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. The reason, at least for me, that music is exciting is sometimes it feels like a like a weird alternate like dimension where different rules of physics apply or something. <laughs> we're just like mad scientists or something in a lab and we know we're trying to figure something out. We have some sort of goals in mind, but we're mostly just trying to look at something that we love under a microscope with sounds and play th with things and see what sounds good. We don't want to go into this thinking too much about like, okay, this is what this album's supposed to sound like. This is what this, this is the kind of song this is, but rather kind of to embrace play, to embrace just like exploration. Wait, how does this sound? <laughs> Part of kind of the the concept of the album is that um, that we're just like kind of throwing ideas out there, and whichever ones we latch on to, we're running with. Oh, that's yeah. yeah, yeah. This yeah. one is what we're doing. Like, are we set, setting out to make this punchy, radio-ready, poppy album, uh, or are we trying to make a an indie garage rock album or something? What are we looking for? I don't know. It's really hard for me to make things if I know 100% why I'm making them, because I feel like if I, could, if I could explain that perfectly, then I wouldn't need music to do that. So that's usually how I know that I'm on a track that feels right for me is if, if I'm on this kind of twilight of my understanding. Oh my gosh. All right, time to go. 
Hey, y'all wanna go outside? What if the whole studio exploded? <laughs> Ben's talked a lot about these ideas of exploring maybe atypical approaches to music and somewhat DIY approaches. Yeah, and why don't you just end on this fucking chord? Yeah. Embracing kind of like roughness and uh, humanness in the recordings and also in the way that the songs are done. Not just like, not just being like, okay, that take wasn't perfect, but it was interesting, we're gonna keep it. But also like, uh, oh, this idea is strange and Maybe we don't totally understand like what this song is doing, but we want to be exploring things together the whole time. Why did we just have dicks to this? I was born to. Wait, what? Hey, that's B flat and B. Yeah, doing that. This is I don't know if there is, I can't, I didn't see any A's. Wait, what the f***? B? Yeah. I'll help you get this. Oh, oh, my. <laughs> oh fuck, why are you so tall? That made me so short. <coughs> I think we do understand kind of where we're heading. I don't think that there's like total mystery because that, that totally, I think that would be maybe a little bit of a disaster. We have some kind of expectations about where things might go, what this is going to sound like as kind of a, a family of songs, but I do think it's, it's nice to know where things are going as much as you need to, but also plan for things to change. <laughs> we want it to be this kind of documentation of us figuring things out and not knowing what comes next. Uh, uh, little beep, little buzz. Sometimes it's like, I don't even understand how this works, but it does, and that's why it's nice, and maybe I did I'll understand it more as we work on things together. Let me turn this down a little bit. Sure. When beautiful things happen uh, and we're excited about it, it's because we didn't necessarily expect it to happen. It's, it's exciting. You're like, oh fuck, that's fucking cool as hell. You know, when we like link eyes and we're all like, whoa, this is it. And we didn't even have to like say, it's just this like, we all are like, whoa. And not even, like, are we reacting to this because it's beautiful? Like, we don't even have time to think about that. We just are like, what is that? Wanting to get somewhere and so doing the things to get you there, uh, you don't get those exciting, as exciting of things as when you're like, I don't know where I want to go, but I know what things I like. So I'm going to do the things I like and see where they take me. See where the road takes me. Drink my whiskey while I drive. You know. Uh, <laughs> I just still think it's a shared shit we like. There's the Ben shit, the Stuart shit, the Steven shit. When an idea is in the center and it's something we all like, we do it. I was reading ahead, ahead. But the way that it's straight, I was reaching wide. Back to what we were doing. What were we doing? The bass pedals in f folding pattern. Oh, okay. Are we definitely doing organ bass on that one? Oh, not necessarily. I don't give a shit. Oh yeah, this is an example. This is an example of where Stuart is like, hmm, should it be bass pedals? And then I'm like, it should be just fucking whatever. Who gives a shit? And Stuart's like, maybe bass pedals? Maybe bass pedals? Ben's like, yeah, let's see what's good and right. And I'll be like, who gives a fuck? You know, that's just part of my DGAF attitude <laughs> that you get here at Studio Studio Dada. <laughs> yeah. the, the wind. wind. Waterproof stand. IPX4. Or something like, uh. Stand. 
Mm-hmm. IPX. Yeah. Four. Something like that. Uh, or. Okay. Okay. What's right, the next, next? line? Uh, the dawning. The dawning. The overarching topic to the lyrics of those songs, and I think some sort of musical aspects of them as well, is Ben's move to Oregon. Should we do the G sharp there? <laughs> yeah. The Phrygian. Or the Aeolian. Right? I guess just in a general sense, his feelings about that, right? Feelings of being cut off from a community he previously had and um, a relationship that the move was about that then didn't work and trying to like make sense and redefine himself in that way despite that uh, in this new location. Ooh, uh, no, 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 I'm doing it wrong. This is really above my pay grade. Yeah, uh, this is hard. In living in Eugene, um, I think I started to think a lot about how uncertain things can be. I'd have to like take days where I just laid down and tried to like ground myself again. And my window would be open and there are a ton of trees where I live um, in Eugene. So there are just tons of different kinds of birds, like different types, different calls. And I would feel really comforted by it because it just felt like they were like visiting me or something or like singing to me. Having them as company, I felt like a bond to them and I realized how much that that helped restore me just as a sound that just, I think helped me like get outside of the feedback loop of emotions and helped it like give a soundtrack or maybe something to like what I was feeling so that it's like I'm going through something that's a hard emotion but I'm hearing something pretty and so maybe what I'm going through is okay and maybe there is a beauty to what I'm going through too. I almost lost my mind I was 25 Birds fall, birds die becomes when a bird dies, the bird falls. Right. I think it's when birds die, birds fall. Oh, yes, that is what I said actually. Okay. When, what is it? It becomes when a bird dies, the bird collapses. Hey, that's <laughs> funny. <laughs> <laughs> that's so good. Yeah, our identities are kind of being documented and shared in us writing and reacting to sounds and I think it's a little under actually. I am able to understand my identity more when I'm around people where it doesn't take as much work to communicate with, where it doesn't feel like an uphill battle, where it feels like you don't even have to speak and you can just feel what feels right and appropriate. Or even if it's not right and appropriate, you're not doing it alone. And if you're gonna fail, you're gonna fail together. That feels really miraculous and really like why I love making music with them. Like we think. Hey, we're eight songs in. Awesome. Okay, here's the click we got.
Okay, here we go. We're gonna be rich. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is the movie Blank Check from Disney from the early nineties. Yeah, and this is Macintosh. Mr. Macintosh. <laughs> We're gonna be in a limo with a bunch of Hagen dazs in a trash can. He's eating it out of a trash can. Are you quoting that movie? Well, quoting in the visual sense, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's time to record. Yeah.